Folklore, unexplained mysteries, paranormal events. This is Supernatural Charlotte. A large shadow surfaces in the distance on Lake Norman. You can't make out what it is, but your gut tells you it's not a boat. The Lake Norman monster, or Normie as it's more commonly known, has been sighted many times over the years, including as recently as 2020. It's interesting to note that every culture throughout the world has a story of a lake monster. We've had divers report seeing mysterious creatures, larger than life fish, things like that. Maybe a, a normal animal in a kind of an out of place space. People are seeing something. Norman's a man-made lake. They made it back in 1959 by creating a series of 11 dams along the Catawba River, uh, Lake Norman being of course the largest. And interestingly enough when they dammed up the area to create the lake they covered towns, cemeteries, an old mill and those features are still down there. So if a diver was to go into those murky waters they would still find those things. Lived on Lake Norman as a child for about 20 years. Uh, Never saw anything, but um, you know I have heard stories of people who have. I moved to the Lake Norman region in 2000, and shortly after that started hearing stories of big fish in Lake Norman. There have been reports of a giant creature of some sort living in the lake. Some divers even report seeing catfish the size of SUVs. Theories range from a Native American creature to something evolved from the mutation caused by the nuclear plant. There was a French-Canadian TV show that actually came to the lake to, to make one of those river monster series. Um, and that, that was their theory, that it's a larger-than-life snake. The lake was actually built as a cooling facility for the nuclear plant that's there even now. So of course there are some areas of the lake that are warmer, some are cooler. Uh, of course one of the theories is that the Lake Norman monster is a nuclear mutated creature caused by these warmer waters and these nuclear waters close to the uh, nuclear facility. And then of course there are the, the more science fiction stories of the, the nuclear reactor that's based on the lake leaking, creating these, you know, giant monster fish that we that we see today. In 2002, I just decided to throw together a website just to see if we could collect stories and see what people were actually seeing out there. And we started getting submissions you know, almost immediately as soon as the site went up. I'm thinking it may be uh, some sort of, you know, large catfish or, you know, every now and then people will release some um, crocodiles or you know, alligators, you know, that they've picked up in Florida or whatever. I'm thinking it may be something along that nature. The, the common feature seems to be more fish-like, more large, unexplained fish, or something disappearing. Two years ago, a Japanese film crew came out to do a documentary on Normie. They hired boats to go out. Uh, I was on one of the boats with them. They brought in a fisherman from the Outer Banks who had these giant you know, deep sea fishing reels and everything. And he was using whole chickens for a bait on these hooks bigger than my hand. We were trolling along one Saturday, they were filming the whole thing. The pole just dips and it stays down and he starts winding and winding and winding and something took the chicken. We never brought it in, something that big. So, you know, you're thinking a whole frozen chicken, something took it, ate it, broke the line, he lost his hook, it was gone. Regardless of what Normie is, it's evident that there clearly is something there. Whether it's one single entity or, you know, multiple things, they're all lumping into one thing as being Normie.
Gigantic fish? Nuclear creature? Being we've not yet to name? We'll let you decide. Embrace the mystery of Supernatural Charlotte. It's time. Don't miss the final season of Supernatural, Thursdays at 8 on WCCB, Charlotte CW.